All right, we're back in Moab. This time I've got the Borealis flume, carbon bars, gray space stem. Got the Wren on it, 120 millimeters travel. And four inch wheels front and back. Put this suspension fork on here to kind of smooth everything out because it is quite a rough trail. Kind of nervous with the four inch wheels and the tires anyways. Hopefully don't have any problems with them. I'm sure they got plenty of traction, but wondering how resistant to puncture they are, knock on wood. A little bit of snow on the ground, not much though. In fact, it was snowing about 10 minutes ago. Snowing just enough to make it cold and slick. This fork weighs four pounds versus the, uh, I don't know, half a pound, quarter of a pound uh, carbon fork that came with the bike. So it absolutely changes the, the feel. I think it raked it out about two degrees also. Trying to keep up with these skinny guy riding dudes. Easier said than done on this trail. It's a little rough. Oh, but he can't take the turns like I can. Whoop! Whoop! See what this uh, Borealis is quite playful. Take that turn pretty quick with this hero mud. That one feels good. This is just a hero dirt for these fat bikes. God, this dirt is great right now. Get filmed. Better not get smoked again. Whoop. He just got smoked again. <laughs> God, this is rough. Did you get smoked? <laughs> Those corners can be a problem. I think I've got a problem though. Hey, slow down. Well, I probably jinxed myself. Probably shouldn't have said anything. It turns out I did a little bit more than perfect. I bent that rim, son of a bitch. I wonder if that stand will seal that. Fat kids shouldn't take drops on. Uh, fat bikes. That's my uh, lesson of the day. <laughs>